What is the color that you think of when I say the phrase, it's a boy? How about the phrase, it's a girl? I'm guessing you probably said blue and pink, right? Well, gender stereotypes like this, they exist today, and they've evolved since then, and they're affecting our lives, and some people don't even realize. Males are associated with the color blue, and females are associated with the color pink. Some stereotypes for females are that they're supposed to be proper, they're allowed to cry, they're supposed to be pretty and wear makeup, they're supposed to have long hair, they're not supposed to be athletic, they're not supposed to be strong, they're not supposed to be smart in fields like math and science, and the um, stereotypes for males are the contrary. Males are supposed to be strong, they're not supposed to cry, males are supposed to be good at sports, Males can be doctors, but they can't be nurses. Males are supposed to be strong and kick and punch, and that's how they can get what they want. Males are allowed to do sports. And these stereotypes are affecting us so much. I don't see why anyone is supposed to be like a male or like a female. In fact, I don't even get what those phrases mean. It makes no sense to me. Why should everyone be like one category? The world would be so much better if everyone was different, if there was diversity, if people had different interests. If not, I think it would just be so boring, don't you? I've had some experience like this because I do theater and I'm a girl. But thankfully, because of the community that I live in, I'm accepted to be like a boy or like a girl. In fact, I was just in a few plays where I got to play boys. There shouldn't be a world where I'm not allowed to just because males are supposed to be a certain way and females are supposed to be a certain way. If you lived in a world where female, well, there was no like a male or like a female, do you think it could prevent bullying in any way, or it could help acceptance in any way? I think it definitely would. We wouldn't have many of the conflicts that we do today. And I think everyone would be a lot happier and free to be who they are. I know a lot of my friends are not, they don't fit the stereotypes that are boy or girl. They're a combination of both. They feel free to be whoever they want and we accept them. And I know that we're a lot happier than a lot of other people are in this world. And I wish everyone else could be just as happy as we are. I, don't, I think it's great that some people out there in the world today are reaching out and doing different things that they want to do. They are not caring about the stereotypes and they don't care if anyone makes fun of them, not that they should anyway. In fact, I think I should step out more, too. I mean, right now I'm wearing a Jurassic Park shirt, which is about dinosaurs, and girls aren't supposed to be into trucks and dinosaurs and gore and all that stuff. But I am anyway, because it makes me happy, and that's who I am. Some of my other friends do fit stereotypes, but that doesn't define who they are. They're not like a girl, because they fit the stereotypes. So I think everyone should try and try to branch out and just be who you are because you shouldn't have to worry about fitting into a specific stereotype. Gender doesn't define who you are and I don't think anyone should think that it does.